Hello everyone, this is Georgia, and I am going to do a flip through of all the books of Rita Berman that I have done since I've started, um, which was six months now that I've been coloring. So I just thought I would go through them and just show you what I've done so far. I think I've done one on um, Joanna's, but not on Rita's. So I thought I'm going to raise you up just a little bit more, see if we can get the full book. Here we go. I'm going to start with the Asian book. Um, yep, that was the first one that I got. So, um, let's see what I, all I've done so far. I'm trying to get to my little stickers. There we go. This was the first one that I, I did in here. Or one of the first ones. This was the train station that I did. I actually saw um, Kachina Kitty, Karen, on her channel do this. She's an amazing, amazing colorist. I think she's probably the best one that I like. Of the, if I had to vote, she would be number one in, in my eyes. From the way she colors and the amazing... Um, results that she gets. So she did hers differently. Um, but that's the reason I bought this book is because I wanted to color this. I wanted to try it myself. Mine is totally different in a lot of ways, but um, I really, I really like what it came out to be. So I put in the little Terracotta pavers, bricks, the steam, made, looked up on, on, uh, Pinterest, and I saw different colored trains. These are Europe trains, so, uh, of course a lot of them were silver, but I wanted a color, and, uh, I seen a few of them that were yellow, and that's why I made this one yellow. I thought it really turned out nice. This is some of my beginning beginnings of learning to do um, silver stonework. It's all the same. Um, I put a little bit of, of glitter on it and stirred up the, the steam. I think it turned out really nice. I really really enjoyed doing this one so the next one i did is this is in russia let me move my book over a little more and um it's a big cathedral and i looked up a picture and uh, in moscow uh and um I kind of went by that. This drawing isn't exactly the way um, the buildings are. They're similar, but the, you know. So it was really hard to to make it um, more exact. And um, these are mostly done in Prisma and Castle Art. I do have Polychromos pencils. That I use um, also and uh, to be honest again I don't know which ones I used I did use a little bit of um, in the background it looks more like distressed ink 
but I can't tell for sure on this one, which is kind of strange, but I would say it's distressed ink. But I thought it, um, it did make a good representation of what this cathedral um, looks like because it's the all the peaks are very 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 colorful and these are some of the colors that are used in it and I just thought it was it just turned out I just really liked how it blended together and came out then I did this little night scene with the train. I'm um, not sure that I really like it, but it's pretty. I put glitter in the steam and a little bit on the water and some in the mountains. Or it, and not in the mountains, but in the, in the sky. So that was my first attempt at black. And, um, you know, some things you do really good. Some things are, are just okay. And I think it's, it's okay. <laughs> so then I did this one. This is a little train scene. Um, her little, what they call them, staterooms. Uh, and I liked that. I liked how the uh, window, looking out the window, and the little cat up here. So I guess these are just little shells. I, I always just guess at what they are. But I thought it, 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 it blended with the greens and the colors. It's kind of a... Um, fun it just it got when I did the window one that that's the part where I really liked it I thought that is way cool and this one I did recently our little um, girl I didn't film this one but I just did her off and I did it with the the different, two different colors of blues and, and, and uh, violets and the two different turquoises. And I thought it turned out really a pretty, pretty. Uh, and with this one, I did film this one. And I thought between the two pages, it really turned out pretty to look at at both pages when I look at it and see it it just I like to sit and look through my books and this one we did just recently um, I really like how this one turned out I enjoyed coloring it the water was challenging. Um, so I just did lines. And I did this with a Prisma and probably with a few um, Kessel Art. I add the Kessel Art because it has more choices of a variety of colors. And that's why I, I enjoy um, mixing them together is because I have more of a variety of colors. When I did the little bubbles, I just came back in here and erased all the bubbles and just left them white against the background. And this is a mixture of white and the light blue to make that. And the little birds, I did go over them with white. Um, and then I came back in with a grays and just highlighted them. And that made, made them stand out. I thought they were turned out really nice. She had a little line on the head, so I 
went ahead and, and did the birds with a black, a black head. And this mountain, they put a lot of different coats in it, different colors, until it came out. I started with the light color and went to the darker. And even the, the steam or whatever's coming out of this volcano, I, on the edges, after I did the gray, I came in with the blue. And uh, I really like the um, red and blue boat and airplanes. And this little green one, that turned out really cute, too. I like that. But this is such rushing water. It was just violently. <laughs> and the, over here, these little bubbles, I wasn't even sure if those were a pile of rocks. But then there was like these lines. So I was assuming that somewhere there's water coming coming down from somewhere. So I just kind of made it like a little stream coming in. And I don't know where they're taking these packages, but somebody's going to get some, some nice packages. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where did we go from there? When you get started in one of the books, it's like you don't want to quit. Oh, my little girls. I did film this, but I ended up accidentally deleting it, and it was gone. And it just, it was really hard. Because I couldn't find it. But I thought they really, it really turned out cute. I've seen, I've seen a few of these. But I really enjoyed and had fun. And doing the little dolls and look at that little with his little fish and I did all this in gold and I made all the little lamps the same color and the leaves with the I thought that was um, turned out really pretty and these little guys I tried to match up whatever it was that they were was concerning them. But I really, I really like these little girls. Let me see if I can't raise you up just a little bit more. Can't get you high enough to Get the whole picture. Try one more time. It's a little better. Get the light on it. And I just, I just really, really like these. I'm really sorry I messed up the video, but that was in the beginning when I was really having trouble learning. Got one more back here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought this was pretty. I loved how this turned out. I thought it was really pretty. And when you look at just, just this picture without this. <laughs> I love the colors and the shades in this. I think it turned out just beautiful. They really do it. And when I was doing it, I thought, oh, I got the floor too dark. I used um, um, distressed ink, several colors. But, uh, now that I look at it, I, I love it. I think it's very pretty. I do that a lot. I'll, I, at first, don't like it. But then when I come back and I see it, I, I just think it just, it turned out so pretty. Wouldn't you love to have one of these with the little pants? Even the hat. <laughs> I would wear the hat. And I did this one. 
with all the little um, different colored suits. I don't know if that light helps more or not. But I love how this part turned out. I did it to match that. And I was trying to match it up um, and when I put this background in I should I will never do that again I will wait if it was just this I like it but it took away from the overall look of this page so um, that taught me not to not to do the background until I do both pages unless I'm for sure that I would want to put this background over here but I was just when you're just doing one it seems to, just fine but when you're doing two that doesn't always doesn't always work I think that's all I've done in the Asian book. So let me let me do the Europe book. That was the next one I got. Get him out of the way. <laughs> okay. This was the first book that I got. The Asian book was the second one because I wanted the train and I got this one and I'm like oh no I got the wrong book I don't know how I did that but you know when you're not um, thinking and this one I actually colored a lot in I thought this was really pretty these are castle art pencils that I did most of these first ones in I really like, I liked how that turned out. And then this is just the intro. And I was so, so pleased <clears throat> with this one. I really, really um, <clears throat> enjoyed the pastel colors and the bottle. And that little turtle in there is so adorable. I really, really liked it. I thought it turned out really cute. And I just, it, it was simple, but pretty easy. And this one, the beginning of the tour. Now I thought, this was the winter part, so I kind of made it snowy with this, with the um, snow top. See how I put the white on the top, and then the little city here. And then there's this little cabin, and all the little hot air balloons going up, 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 and away. <laughs> The water coming rushing down. I, I enjoyed doing this one. I, th I thought it turned out nice. I did use some distressed ink in it. And I might have used some distressed ink in the, the water. I don't think so. Not at this point. I, but it was all um, castle art pencils at this point too. And I just did the same around the edge, around this one, with the distressed ink to make it kind of blend in with this one to finish the story. And I did look that up, but I don't remember what it said. And here's my little version of the gold lampstand. 
and I did use uh, a stencil and distressed ink to go around and round. Little gold bricks, the little hearts, the little birds. I just, it was just so cute. I really enjoyed this. This one, I really worked on it. This one took quite a bit of work because all of this is the pencils and the land is all, all, all of it is um, pencil. And uh, it's just a little bit of everything in here. It was, it was fun. It was kind of wondering how to separate the um, the map out because of all the different things. So I tried to do a little bit in different colors. And there's my little pink car. I had decided I was going to try to put pink on every page. So I went around. I kind of distressed around the edges to make it look like an old an old map and I thought that turned out looking like an old map I liked it it was challenging and I liked that and here's my little version of all the little places that um, The trip is my little pink trailer, and I decided to make the bus pink. <laughs> and I tried to fill in. I didn't do the backgrounds at first. I came back after I seen a few different ones of people doing them. So we like to get ideas from other people and then incorporate it into our our own idea. But I thought it turned out really cute. I liked it. I like the different colors. I've seen some beautiful ones done. The little city and I just thought these turned out really pretty and I keep thinking I paint I, I, I uh, colored this big one but I haven't. <laughs> I don't think. But that sometimes it's like did I or didn't I? I really liked the, how that one turned out. And we're still in, in uh, Castle Art pencils. I did this one first. And uh, here's my little pink motorcycle. I got a little carried away with the sky. In, in the dark, but maybe it's getting rager. Oh, it's peeking through the clouds. I bet you that. And here's the raindrops. So that's probably what I did. <laughs> I was making it look like a cloudy sky. So, so I guess I did okay. The, the little fish down here and the ice cream. Just the different, different colors. I thought that turned out really, really cute. I liked it. I was still trying to figure out how to make a building look white. And our raindrops, I just put blue with a little bit of white on the bottom. So I, th I thought that I liked it. I liked this. Turned out just fun. This one, to be honest, I didn't want to color this one. I didn't, I didn't think about. But I guess it was all the letters and stuff, but it, it, it's a cute picture. But once I got started, it turned out cute. I made the little typewriter um, pink. And it took a little bit of work. You wouldn't think so if you haven't colored this page yet to do all these books and to come up with a different um, theme and different look on, on all of them. And then I just put some distressed ink around it and, and even in 
in the uh, behind the letters and uh, I'm still thinking this one I made the boat pink <laughs> this one I don't know if you saw the movie um, in uh, Europe there's a, a, a bridge and people who fall in love and going to get married they come and put a padlock on this bridge well there got to be so many padlocks on the bridge they finally had to cut them all off because it was pulling the bridge down but i thought that was a, a very interesting and i was still just playing around learning how to do the silver could have um as we grow, we grow. I think I tried to put a little pasta back in here. <clears throat> but overall, this is my brick wall. I, I Now I wouldn't have made the background of it so dark and I would have shaded the bricks a little better. But we're growing, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing. I've seen a few of these. I um I just had fun with it. And I used some different pasta polka dots to add to the festive uh, look of it. And just made all the little houses different colors. It was a, a different fun little coloring page okay well look here we got the pink bus I put some stickles throughout In the clouds I'm still working on how to get those I made the little pink yellow um, whatever those were in the page. The suitcases, I thought they turned out good because trying to get <clears throat> this many suitcases without making them pink and blue and yellow and orange to get them to stand out. I think I did good with that. And then the building to, with so many faces to the building to, for you to be able to color it and still see the faces, I think, is, is the challenge on that one. Um, but, you know, as we look at our pictures, we can see how we're growing and changing. Looks like I was erasing and didn't get it all out. This was the little suitcase. And the little kitty cat in here sleeping. And this little map took a little bit of work on it to uh, get it to look like a map and all the different little things, all the it looks like she's got some boys and some girls thing, so maybe it's hers and his because they got the two hats. And I just put some little pink polka dots around it. And there's some, some um, stickles glitter on, on these. I was using quite a bit for a while. Oh, we're still we're still going okay I like I like this one this one was fun of course there's my little pink car and all the stuff and I 
was trying to figure out how to do the clouds, so I put some purple and got them a little too dark, but that's okay. And all the stuff, <laughs> I thought that turned out really cute. That did. And then trying to figure out what's what. Is this, you know, here's the road, is and is this more water or what? Because it looked like a lake, and it looks like the water was coming down. So I, I went ahead and made it look like the water. And then the mountain side, go right into all the greenery going different ways and using a different color for each green so that it looked like rolling hills. So I think I did okay on that one. Getting it separated, I think. Um, still learning to fill in more or light. And I think I had colored this bottom page before I did this. And you'll see why there's little bumps in here. <laughs> Is because of the other page. All the glitter and stuff that I decided to do. But I thought that made... I, I really liked that. I thought that turned out, as a whole, a nice page to look at. So, here we go. Hmm, Mardi Gras is what I thought about. But this was my real beginnings of doing the gold better. And um, just trying to figure out how to do the background and what was what in her hair because all of these little things and I thought her eyes came out really cool those little green eyes poking through there I really really I just loved this but I did do a lot of stickles on here and uh, I used a gel pen for some of this, like in here. And I believe I, this is when I started using Prisma. And these are markers in the background that I did, which was nice because it didn't go through the other side. And then after I did her, I did the city. But I did it in the same colors. But put lots of glitter and stuff on it. Because it just, and on all the windows, I got really carried away and had fun um, doing this. But I know from something that I watched that in Vienna they do have these almost like a Mardi Gras um, so I, I just I just love looking at this overall the two colors when you open it up it's just so pretty to go back and look at so let's see And this one recently, I don't know if, I think I filmed the, the fountain, but this was just done in pastels, and each building has its own color. The Eiffel Tower with the three colors of silver, of, of, of gray. I think turned out really nice and I just brought whatever color through all the way down except for in this bottom little piece where the 
it's like a little walk through underneath to go in. I left it kind of without any color. I'm making the sidewalk so it looked, I think I did pretty good on this one. It's always hard what to do in the windows. And I like to do a light blue, just kind of etchy, like you're just kind of seeing the window and you can put a little bit of white. That's the way I do my windows. So we all do things a little different. But I liked how this sidewalk ended up looking curved. And trying to find the three different colors that are going to work out. So being able to pull from the little table set colors up into the grays. I think that worked out nice. And then our little fountain, I, I know I did, I did film this one. And I, I just brought the colors from the buildings into the balloons. And the grays, again, using the three different color grays. Made it look like it's a stone fountain. And then I did the water in a few different color blues. And I just put some stickles in the water and through the water and around the little bubbles going up. So I thought this this makes um, a nice look when you open up your book and you're looking in here. So oh, I like I really like this as a whole of the blues and the colors it just it, it just blends so pretty and I like how I did the bubbles up behind the swan the little bottles hanging I did the little bit of um, distressed ink on it just all with Prismacolors, made it look like it's, it's gold. I thought the flowers turned out pretty. And then, you know, when I first did this blue building, I was like, man, that's blue. <laughs> blue, 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 you know? Because the stonework here turned out so pretty. And even the water, I just used all different colors, blues, and and and, and uh, added some purples. And the little uh, swan, I put some grays, just left it white. And and when it came to to this, all these blues, when I worked my way up, I was like, and trying to get a separation between each of the buildings. And I think I think I did a good job. And I loved how I put the gold in the roofs. Because a lot of times in Europe you see um, it like that. And just with the greenery around it. And I really liked how the bricks turned out. I, it just, I, I just think it turned out to be a really pretty, colorful um, look with even both both pages it just it just came out really nice so I think that's the end of that one right yeah all right let's go on to book number three uh, looking through a magnifying glass these um, this one and this one says different. I actually, it's, um, what does it say? Look, um, here we go. My walk through the seasons where now it says, um, 
with the same pictures in it is my or, or summer but this looking glass one looking through the magnifying glass okay I thought this one turned out really pretty when you look at it as a whole I um, took my gel pen and I just went over all the black and you could see a little bit of the black I did a little bit of the flowers but I took my um, gel sticks and I have two colors a pink and kind of a, um, a raspberry kind of color but anyway and I just colored with my finger all of the flowers those gel sticks and then I came back and with a pencil and I did like the edges and, and stuff and colored the leaves. I was going to do more two-tony, but it just looks so peaceful or something with the leaves just being that soft. And I put a little bit of the gold in some of the centers of the flowers. And with the, the gold, I think it just, it just kind of, I don't know. I like, I like it because it's different. And I did not film either one of these. And I did the same here. And I put the pink and gel around this. And I started out coloring the pink. And then I came back in with two different colors of gold. Um, one is a... Um, um, an acrylic pencil with gold that you shake it and you kind of like a pasta pasca and then I came back over it uh, with a lot of the other gold and left some of that one because now it kind of blends with both pages and I just softened it with the the gel putting it on my finger and just rubbing it around i like that because then it, it's done it's not coming off that's the end of it so i kind of liked that i mean you can it, it is water soluble so you could use a brush and a pan but then i don't want my page bubbly i, I know a lot of, and but and i've ironed them out to where they're almost flat but they're not quite but some things I don't mind and other things I kind of do. So it doesn't matter. It's whatever we believe in. I think I just did him yesterday, videoed him. And uh, I thought he turned out real, really cute. Somebody gave me a thumbs down. I was like, why? He's just a cute little mouse in a house. <laughs> Maybe it's me they don't like. I don't know. But I did um, do the blue around this one. And when I was coloring, um, it, it does press through if you don't put a piece of paper. So I had to work on that. But um, I thought that made it look co cohesive going across. And... Um, I thought my little mouse turned out really, really cute. I really like him. And enjoyed, enjoyed it. Took a, took a, a lot longer doing this um, mushroom and the, and the flowers because I only got that part done in part one. And then I did this and this in part two because it was just too much. I wasn't even going to get it all done. But anyway, this one I love. I didn't film this one at all either. I was just, um, as, again, I saw a couple kind of like this. And uh, so I picked my own colors. And on this side, I really liked 
how I did this because I, I instead of making them the colors um, that you would think, I just followed the colors in this other bee in all of the butterflies, the bees. And even with the honeycomb, I did with the yellow and the couple colors of, of um, okra and I was going to say browns, but they're not all browns. They're more okras. But I really, really, really love this one. This was my first attempt on this kind of a background. And um, I thought it turned out really pretty. And this will show you if you use a darker brown, you're going to get a darker color where if you use a lighter brown and a brighter yellow you're going to get a better gold but I'd already done a lot of it and I wasn't going to go back and start over but I still love it I thought it really turned out pretty oh and my little bugs I try to keep the color palette the same as this one Let's see. No, I didn't. I didn't um, film this one either. And this was just more practice of doing it and getting the center lighter. And so I thought it turned out cute. It's different than most of them I've seen. Even my little um, snails I used and greens for them. A brighter green for my little my little worm, which I guess goes down in here. <laughs> and uh, I thought it was just uh, different colors. It turned out nice. And then to look at both pages, again, I used this, this, my gel stick with my finger and uh, did the same here, just kind of. And tried to use the same um, what do I have? Four colors, three colors in these bugs to make them look all different. And actually, I think I did a good job of doing that. And I made all the flowers blue because of the water in the page next to it. Um, and then just put um, the purples in it. And I used the same color leaf colors. In here and just made them um, two-toned I thought it turned out really pretty now I think I think I I filmed this one and this was totally different in colors I got to do some work and clean up where I've Didn't put a piece of paper in here, but I used the same color on both sides, and it's different. It's just different, and that's that's kind of what I I want is something different. I don't want it to always look like everybody else's. So it was my choices, my colors. I kept their shells all kind of the same color, and them the everything just and it just kind of blended really nice makes a pretty page to open up to it's a bright I think that's all we did in this one so now we got one more our walk through the spring and this is my newer book I really, really, really like this. I used the uh, Castle Art pastels on these. And the theme, <laughs> the greens, is I think is what really ties this together with the purples and the blues. It just, it just made such a soft, pretty, pretty picture. I really, really, really 
like how this turned out. And then I did him. Using the exact same colors. And just made this beautiful page when you open it and you look at it. I, I really liked, liked this, how it turned out. Oh, and here's my little beach house. Don't we all just want to pick a house and go there right now? And just hang out on the beach. I just made it very pastel. A lot of uh, colors in my waters, in my clouds. I, I tried to keep two colors on each house. the sand and the beach. I just made a really soothing, pastel-y colored. I like pastel colors. I, I just do. But I like bright and brilliant colors too. Alright. Oh, this one was fun. Again, pastels, castle art. I love the colors. Using some pencil. And I just did a little bit lightly to fill in around the nest. And the colors just go into the next page because all the leaves just come in to over here and then we got our little <laughs> all of our little birds in the umbrella our little bug I thought this turned out really pretty I liked it and it just it's just a it's just so pretty to to see when you're looking through the book page by page, how pretty, when you get to a certain page, how nice it looks. Let's see. Oh, our ducks. Mm. <clears throat> I love this. I really, really, really like this. I think it just turned out so pretty. The flowers, I think, turned out extraordinarily beautiful. They almost look real. And the mountains and the trees with the sun. Little dragonfly and the frog. It all just kind of just came together in this beautiful... picture. I saw um, um, Zucchini, uh, Zucchini Kitty um, do these and I looked up um, on Pinterest and I found them and I thought I got to do them and that was another reason I wanted this book was when I saw her do them. And I made the butterfly, the dragonfly, actually in the same colors. I thought that was really cool. And even the butterfly matches. And I kind of ignored everything. And I just did the dark lines. And then I just colored them. I just, I just love this page. This was... So much fun. I just loved it. It was 
so much fun to just do it. And this was the last one I think we did. Our teapot. I've been wanting to do something in just the blues and white. And when I try it, it didn't work out so good. Then I figured out the blue, the color blue that I needed. And that really helped change. And then I just did the gel with my finger all the way across to this page. So it, it looks very like one big picture. And these, I used all of my gel pens, the glitter ones, the plain ones, all of them on it. The only one I shouldn't have used maybe is that hot pink. <laughs> the rest of them look fine, but sometimes you can't tell what color they look like, but I love my teapot. I felt like I accomplished something that I really wanted to learn to do. And the roses, I just used three different color roses, um, reds, orangey reds, and just a little bit at a time, and that just made them look really nice and shaded. Well, that's a look at everything that I've done so far in all of my books. I know there's more, but four is enough. <laughs> so I just want to thank you for taking time and, and watching my video. And um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a good day. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like it, thumbs up. It helps. But most of all, just remember... You are highly valued. You are beautiful and wonderful. And I love you. And I thank you for being a part of my family and giving me your time to share with me. So have a good day.